Virgo, welcome my Virgo friends. This is Christelle Martinet with another weekly reading starting the week of the 20th of July. I'm in Rome. It's a very, very, very hot, hot Rome. I'm trying to stay cool. Now, there are a couple of things I wanted to say as I mix the cards. It was an experiment last week. It went very well. I thank you for your support. I had, um, I, I enjoyed it myself. I learned quite a bit myself, so I'll continue that. Now, in the beginning of this um, video, you saw the indication of my website and my email. Do visit my website to see who I am, what I do. And write to me if you're interested in a private reading. But there's something else. I do have a Facebook page, but recently I opened a fan page that you couldn't go and like. And why I'm indicating that to you is that every day, starting from the last two days, I open a spread and ask a question. It's an interactive sort of session where I ask, what is the focus of your energy today? What is the most important thing that you have to learn today? And I use different decks, and it's an interactive in the sense that you can write in and see and tell me what your interpretation is. I can give you a suggestion, and it's a, a sort of a learning process. It's a dialogue where we both learn things. And it's halfway between a game, a treasure hunt, and divination. So it's a learning process. And I thought it would be fun for us to do that and have another type of forum for us. Now, let's take a look at what your week holds in store for you, Virgo. Ah, two cards came out at once, actually. And another two have come out at once. That's five. Now, the first card is the King of Cups. The second is the Four of Pentacles, the Nine of Wands, Major Arcana Temperance, and the Five of Wands. Okay, the, of these cards, the Five of Wands gives a little bit of cause of concern because of the scattered energy. And um, what I'm hearing is um, regroup. I'm hearing regroup. The focus is on the Nine of Wands. You've really really done your best to bring things together. Now on either side of the Nine of Wands, on the left there is the Four of Pentacles that to me means um, rebirth in terms of the uh, Phoenix arising from its ashes. And on the other side is the Temperance, so you have some um, form of protection. The, ni the uh, King of Cups is a, a very benevolent figure. It's a very kind figure. What worries me is the Five of, um, of Wands, which scatters your energy. Let me take that for you, my Virgo friends. Let's see what um, the Vida Sibila can tell us. All right, now, this is telling me that, this is a communication, this is communication. There's a room where uh, it's a uh, table with ink and things that what is missing is a person. This is a, a room where you would communicate. The merchant is out looking out and um, very reserved and falsehoods. Now, one look at this trio would make you think, my God, let me go back to sleep and wake up again. But what it's telling us on the four, the five of um, wands is that um, you're focus is on your activity, any kind of economic activity, any kind of hobby, any kind of activity that has nothing to do with the heart. It may have to do with passion. Now, your focus is there, your communication on the one hand is non-existent, but on the other hand it's on the surface because you're about to enter that room and take that quill, pen, and hand. The caution the cautionary measure here is the communication of um, falsehoods. Now, if your strength of those wands, if this, the, the wands are being scattered, and we get this kind of a pull from the Vira Sibila, they're telling me that you need to wait one minute. Sit in that chair, take the quill in hand, think about how you've communicated in the past. Leave that behind you. Or think about what you want. Do you want to go still creating a trompe d'oeil, uh, 
you know, uh, uh, smoke in someone's faces, or do you want to be direct? Now, this is the enigma that the merchant is facing in his hobby and his activity. So, this is what I'm um, going to leave at that with a pull from the uh, Neapolitan cards to see if we can get some more of uh, some more information on that. All right, wow. All right, this is a um, confirmation of the merchant card and the other card. This is a male energy. This has to do with activity. This has to do with reaping benefits, reaping rewards. The six uh, in this deck, sixes are very uh, weak in, in the sense that they feed on the other two cards. What we do have here, and here, sandwiched between the other cards, is an indication to you that this is a choice. You're going to be faced with a choice towards the end of the week. You need to ponder that choice. Because you're disoriented, you're scattering your energy, the horse is going one way, you're going the other way. This is a very passionate card. And you need to move. You're needing to move. You're left with the enigma of how to proceed. And that's a choice you have to make. Let's see if the um, fine arts postcards give us, give us a message to help us on that choice that we have to make, dear Virgo friends. Ah, okay. Um, now, this is uh, the, it has come out several times last week. I'll try to get it out of the light. There it is. Um, this is the Peacock by Archibald Tobern. It is a symbol of royalty, vision. All right, now the, the focus is on vision, spirituality, awakening, guidance. Well, this is, you need to focus, you need to focus. And you need to be watchful. Right, the peacock has feathers, there are eyes in these feathers, and those eyes are the eyes of the stars in Greek and Roman mythology. In Hinduism, the peacock represents patience and kindness and luck. And what it's telling us is that you need to be patient. Your patience, is, will, your patience will be rewarded by luck. Take the high ground, take that spiritual ground, and you'll never regret that. Virgo friends, thank you for joining in. It was a pleasure for, to read with you. Visit my website and my fan page. I appreciate, I really appreciate your support, your likes and your shares and your subscriptions. Au revoir. Arrivederci.